Do we have any announcements? Yes. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. Thank you. All right. Could you bear with me for just a second for the announcements, and then we'll pray to be dismissed. Thank you, sis. God bless you. Good afternoon. Um, hard to believe that this is our last service for um, this year, isn't it? Uh, just some quick announcements. Uh, as tomorrow is uh, New Year's Eve, uh, we will be having our midnight service uh, to bring in the new year in the presence of God. Uh, we will be here at 10 o'clock. It is a potluck service. Um, we begin always with the good stuff, right? The feeding of the flesh, and then we're going to clean up rapidly, and then we're going to gather at the altar, and we're going to just be praising and worshiping God as we bring in um, the, the, the new year. And as I said before, I had heard uh, many years ago that where you find yourself at the beginning of the year is where you find yourself more throughout the year. And, and, um, I believe that there is some truth to that. So for everybody who may not already have plans or you weren't sure what you were going to do, come out and, and have this um, and this fellowship and this service with us. Um, it's going to be a, a great time in the Lord um, when we hit midnight and we're in the presence of God. Um, thanking Him for, for a new year. Um, with that new year, um, we have a lot that will be resuming. Um, the men will be having their breakfasts. It's going to be Saturday the 5th at 9 a.m. If you need more details, please see Brother Pablo or Brother David um, about that. Um, also, um, it's going to be time to put all the beautiful decorations away. Um, Sister Luz is asking if anybody is wanting to or able to come out on Saturday at 11 a.m. We will start um, taking the trees down. We have to put everything away um, as the season has come to an end and, and we get the new, the new year. Also, uh, Generations 180 Youth, we will have our youth day. It is going to be Saturday. Uh, that is going to be at 4 o'clock here um, in the youth sanctuary. Um, so parents, please make sure you have your, your youth here for that. Uh, the beginning of uh, the year, how we're going to start it. Um, also, just a reminder that we will be starting that Daniel Fast. Uh, we will have the recipes and a shopping list for everybody who is interested on that for joining us on that. That's going to start on the 7th of January, and we'll have those for you next Sunday. That's going to be the 6th. Um, and that is all our announcements, I believe, Pastor. And would you please stand, please? Next week, we're also going to start. If you have a friend or a family member that you would like for us to pray for, I'm going to ask you to give a, a to bring a picture or or something, a, their, a paper with their name on it. You put it at this altar. And during the time of the fast, we're going to be taking time out to pray for all the petitions that, that are at this altar. We're actually going to leave them here during the 21 days. Okay? So if, if you would like to be a part of that, please. Don't forget, we'll start it next week. But some people are already starting to fast this coming week after tomorrow. So, however God leads you to do it, God's going to do it. Amen. And we're praying, we're fasting that God would grow us individually and corporately as the body of Christ. And that He would mature us the way that He sees fit. And I already see it happening. Let's pray to dismiss. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord. And I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity, this privilege. I thank you for the time that we've had here together. I pray in the name of Jesus that as we leave this place, that church would begin and that we would be carriers of this word, not just today, not just the rest of the week, not just the rest of the month, but the rest of our lives, Lord. Let us carry, let us carry the, the scripture that says that you are enthroned in the praises of your people. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we would begin to praise you and we would begin to worship you more, that you would grow us in that area. Father, that we would share this word with everyone that we come in contact with, that we would be carriers of your love, carriers of your mercy, carriers of encouragement, Lord, carriers of hope and compassion. I pray that in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you would have your way in each of our lives, and I pray that you would put your hedge of protection and your guardian angels and your precious blood upon us until we meet again. Lord, we love you and we honor you and we worship you in this place in Jesus' name. Now may the Lord bless you and may he keep you. May he make his face shine upon you. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Journey to the Cross Church, I love you. God bless you. Have an awesome, awesome week.